He has found his place in the world, and it is in front of the camera. Lights, camera, action. Chidera David is our next guest on the Ticket to the Mac show. Welcome, Chidera David, to the Ticket to the Mac show. Thank you very much. It's really a pleasure having you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here. Would you say in your personal life you're taking what you do to the max? Uh, well, I mean, I'm trying my best to. It's a step-by-step -step process. The max is where I eventually end up. So at this point, I'm just heading there. Right, so you're on the journey. Exactly. Yeah. And if you were to give you a journey, a percentage, where would you say you're at? Oh, I've not, I've not reached anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so you're still like, it's like just a starting from point. zero to ten. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, but I would say that the reason I reached out to you is because I see the value in your journey and how hard you're working, and it's like worth admiration. But one very outstanding thing about you is the fact that you're always happy. So it brings the question if you ever get sad. Like, is I there a time you're really oh, sad? Oh, I do, I do. But very momentarily, for a short period of time. It doesn't come often. But when it does, it comes in the night. Okay. So <laughs> I just sleep, sleep alone. <laughs> I just sleep and wake up and it's gone. Right, okay. So that's the trick. It comes in the night, so you just yeah. sleep at all. And you see, I don't think about maybe I don't think about the things that I am yeah. suffering or going through. Okay. So at one at any point, if something bad happens, or I start thinking about one thing, every other thing comes in my mind and it is packed. Okay. And I'm, I just start thinking about everything at once. Okay. And I just sleep it off when I wake up. I'm brand new. Wow, it's a very rare quality to have, to be honest. <laughs> you can't control, like, I think emotions are in such a way that you can't actually control these triggers. It's like anything can just trigger. Yeah. But what would you say keeps you positive? The fact that I'm not a billionaire yet. <laughs> and that's what keeps you positive? Yes. <laughs> that's, that's what makes me still want to be alive. Okay. Because I mean, so the goal is to be a billionaire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, look. I have to be alive and enjoy this money that everybody's enjoying. You know? I need to be part of it. I need yeah. to partake. So I can't I can't leave this world yet. Okay. And if I have to stay here, I have to be happy. Right. I have to be I have to enjoy it to the max. <laughs> I feel you on that. That's what it is. So what steps would you say you're taking toward achieving that goal? I'm just being myself and doing what I love to do and what I have to do, I mean, to achieve my goals. Yeah, and with your your current environment, do you think it's nurturing, you know, your passions to achieve that goal you set for yourself? Well, um, even if it will nurture, I will nurture it to nurture me. <laughs> I love the spirit. Who would you say is Chidara David? Uh, Chidara David is a young man who is an actor and content creator. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's all I was about to say. I know so many others which I would want to get into. Mm -hmm. Right, because you came from somewhere, but before that, you're obviously Nigerian living in Ghana. So, the question is, how did you find yourself in Ghana? Uh, my family moved here in 2007. Okay, uh, my mom and my brothers we came here hey, to live here. Okay, and <laughs> no, for no particular reason, which is well, to... uh, I think I wanted to start afresh. Uh, it was uh, fresh separation my, my parents separated and my mom came to Ghana because I think she came here because she was born in Ghana and right. Ghana is the first place that she decided to run to I guess I wouldn't consider that running I mean just finding <laughs> her roots going back to her roots I guess maybe. I guess how do you feel like both Nigeria and Ghana has treated you at this point I'm basically Ghanaian because like, I grew up here I was, I was a child okay, how when I came you? I was this question you used to track my age. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. I was okay. young. Give us like a range. I was between uh, eight and twelve. Eight and twelve. Okay. Yes. It was. Do you feel like the separation? <laughs> do you feel like the separation of your parents like affected you in any way? Funny enough, no. It did not. Listen. See, like I don't understand the kind of human being that I am, because I don't too. <laughs> <laughs> because usually separations. 
uh, they affect the children. Everybody's like, oh, this, oh, that. But it's like, ah, right, cool. What's next? Yeah. How are we doing this? Mm-hmm. I was just going where the wind took me. If any of my parents took me, I'll go. Mm-hmm. So I ended up, it was my mom who took me, so. Right. Do you feel like if there were any form of pain, it will catch up with you in the future? Nah, the future is now. Like, that was okay. then. It's yeah. a long time ago. Right. Because um, some, I guess we can't call it a traumatic situation since it wasn't traumatic yeah. for you. I feel like your positivity needs to be studied. It really <laughs> needs to be studied. Because I know that it will affect a lot of people the wrong way. Yeah. But we see the opposite in you. We see you express your full um, form of creativity. And I like that you have no restrictions as to whatever it is. Mm-hmm. And from my perspective, I see you to be someone who um, you don't care whether you are there or not. You embody the image of someone who is already at his goal. Like anytime I see the content you put out, you put I see the mindset with which you put that mm. out. Is that an intentional, um, you know, thing, or you don't even realize that that's what you do? Well, I just try to put out really good content because okay. I feel just uh, two days ago. I, I I was watching one of the first videos I made. I was like, "What is this nonsense?" <laughs> right. I was like, "What is this?" Mm-hmm. I was like, and at that time, I was like, "Whoa, this is great! This is good yeah. stuff! This is amazing!" Mm-hmm. But now, like, it's, you it's, like nah, yeah, it's wow. really bad. So, I just try to do my best at every given time because when you don't do your best and you put it out there, do you expect the people out there to like it? If I don't like my content, I won't put it out. If I don't, if I'm trying to make something funny and it doesn't make me laugh, I'm not going to put it out. Because I'm the primary consumer of my content. I watch my content more than anybody. Okay. Even when I post it, I have it, let's say I have it on my gallery, but I watch it on the internet. Okay. Do you watch to criticize yourself or you watch to appreciate the effort you put in? I watch to appreciate because if I'm putting it out there, it means I don't have anything to criticize. So maybe another person watching it has something to say and that's their opinion. But for me, I've done my best. I've done a fantastic job and it's out there. So you bring on whatever you have to say. But for me, it's an excellent job that I've done. Right. This brings the question, do you um, sort of get negative comments? On stuff you put out, have you ever had negative comments? I feel like people are just being nice to me because <laughs> I barely get, barely and rarely get negative comments. Everybody is always blown away. I'm like, you people, people are being fake. <laughs> I don't think people are being fake because I mean, it's quality content. Yeah. But then I feel like, isn't isn't there something I'm not doing right that somebody sh- should tell me? Yeah. Or how am I supposed to grow? If I'm not doing anything wrong, you're not getting criticism. Yeah, because every time, every time it always praises. It's just very few times. Even it's not bad comments. It's just some people. Some people tell me things I can do to maybe upgrade or get better or just tweak. But it's never. Oh, this wasn't good. It's, like, nah, it's always so good. Yeah, I think it's not greatly to do with the energy you sort of put out. Sometimes when you put out negative energy, you get negative energy back. But when you put out positivity, and because of the kind of effort you put into the content you create, I feel like it reflects back to you. Have you always identified as a creative? Like ever since you were young, were you that person that, you know, probably really know the word for it? We didn't call ourselves creatives maybe when we were younger, but did you tend to do like a lot of creative stuff? I think I didn't know what I wanted to be. Right. earlier like class one day because i remember when i was in class one one time i said i wanted to be a bishop <laughs> <laughs> but i didn't know what okay. i wanted to be and i was just going with the flow right. even when i started doing school plays at when i was at a tender age i didn't think that oh this is what i wanted to do in future i was just going with the flow it was when was later let's say maybe when i started doing anything concerning creativity maybe from um, my teenage years 
that I started. I would say, I, in fact, let's just say, until recently, I wasn't identifying as a creative. Right. Okay, but you used to do stuff like spoken word. Yeah. Um, and play the guitar a bit. Like, you play it extremely well. No, so not extremely. Like a just calm. Right. <laughs> Simple. Yeah. So, you just, like, found yourself interested in playing the guitar. You go out for it. Spoken word. Mm-hmm. You go for it was that the situation you feel pressured by you nah, felt pressured by me i've not been pressured to do anything yeah. that i'm doing at the moment okay everything i've done was out of interest pure interest for myself well everything i've done and i enjoy doing <laughs> right because i mean i know there is one thing i've done that it didn't it didn't work for me like i i learned i tried to learn how to soak okay but it didn't work right and maybe in the future i'll try again because i like i like fashion okay but then at that time that was you know uh 2021 okay what, what would you say piqued the interest i i want to dwell on this topic because it's quite interesting what would you say piqued your interest about like fashion what did you see that you were like oh i, I mean, think i want to go into like, I like aesthetic looking good. fashion I like looking good. Okay. Uh, my mom as well. She she's into that sort of thing. She does. She doesn't sew herself, but it always it has always been her dream to have a, a a fashion house or you know a clothing institution or whatever it's called. She she has always wanted to learn how to sew, but because of you know life's uh, issues and the complication of life. She hasn't really got in the time, so it it was also her dream that one of her children could learn that. And I was like, let me just do it, let right. me try. But it wasn't working out for me. But you'd want to give another try. Yeah, I How mean, if I can know? learn something, something that I can be doing, even if it's just for myself, I'll be glad because it's it's a nice feeling to wear what you make. Yeah. How many siblings have you got? Officially. <laughs> officially, okay. I have two siblings. Okay. And unofficially. I have four siblings. Explain that unofficially. So I have a brother from my mother's side. Okay. And I also have a brother from my father's side. Okay. So you're all boys? Yeah, we're all boys. <gasps> That's interesting. How instrumental would you say your family and siblings have been in your um, creative journey? Um, I don't think they have influenced me in any way, but then all, well, the siblings that I know very well, my other brother and my younger brother, the ones from my parents, all of us act. Right, okay. Yes. But I took, I, I'm the one who has taken it the furthest amongst the rest. I don't think they have influenced me in any way, but then they've just been there throughout seeing me grow from when I started to where I am right now. Right. And do they, um, how early would you say you all started acting and where, which, where, which part of your life provided the platform for you to express your acting skills? Is it church? Is it school? Uh, when I was back in Nigeria, I remember just one time. I remember doing the play. Okay. That was it. When I was in primary three, class three. So it was a school play. Yeah, school play. Yeah. But then it was when I came to Ghana. And what I, role was it just for the school play? Man, I don't remember. <laughs> I just know I was there. That's <laughs> all I. The star. No, I wasn't the star. Michael. I've never really been the star of any, yeah. anything I've been on. Really. Yes, but I'm just recognizable. Yeah. I'm yet to, to have my star moment. Okay. Yes. When I came to Ghana and I was in church and I joined the church drama group, the youth church drama group, and we're doing stuff. Yeah, we're doing stuff. Maybe, maybe in there I was a star mm-hmm. one or two times. Right, okay. And then I joined the main church drama group. Okay. And then from there our director there started his own uh production theater company yeah and he invited me on there 
leaves, some rose. Um, yeah, and that's that's how it started for stage. Okay. Oh, I, I have I've had that star moment. Yes. Okay. When I did an ad, I did an ad for Nescafe Africa. Right. And right. it was, in fact, that was that was my best. That was my best moment on behind. Oh, is it behind or in front of the camera? In front of the camera. Because that was like the biggest thing I'd ever done my entire life. Okay, which year was that? That was 2020. Okay. November. It was crazy. Uh, I had a, I had a call that, oh, I should send my, I should send my picture and, and they should do a video that a client wanted, they want for an ad. I said, all right, I'll get it to you by tomorrow. And she was like, the lady who come was like, no, the client wants it tonight. I was like, uh, and my phone, my phone, I was using this Android phone, and the quality at night isn't really the best. Yeah. But I had to do it. So I did it. I did it. I sent it. And a few, uh, few weeks later, I got a call that, oh, you were selected. I was like, oh, wow. And when, it, when, when <laughs> I remember when she told me how much they were going to pay me, I was like, did you make a mistake? Did you add an extra zero? <laughs> to the money, so I didn't believe till I got the check. Right. I think I was like, "What? What? All right, all right, cool." So prior to that, were you making money off of your passions, like brand influencing, content creation, the, acting? I had had the. Wait, I started brand influencing just last year. Okay. And it started with Mortar Guinness. Okay. Yes. I um Echo Martin. Uh, told them about me because I, I guess they were looking for people and they saw my stuff and they contacted me and then I started uh, I started I mean we came to an agreement and I started working with them or for them and so we started with a big client like Mortal Guinness right. and of course we started with money yeah yeah so from there I've gotten little uh, little gigs here and there and of course, it comes with a little money, but Mortal Guinness has been my highest paying okay. gig. So you're obviously passionate about acting, mm -hmm. right? What would you say is your end goal in acting? I want to win an Oscar. Okay. okay, even if I don't win an Oscar, I just want to be well known mm -hmm. as the, a good actor okay. in Nollywood, in Hollywood. Talking about Nollywood, so the um, acting scene, a lot of people will argue, is better in Nigeria than it is in Ghana. Mm -hmm. So it's surprising that um, yourself as an upcoming actor, you would, you would pick Ghana to pursue um, this particular career. Well, I grew up in Ghana. Right. This is where I know. Okay. So this is my foundation. I can't just up and go to Nigeria because I'll be basically starting afresh when I go there. So you don't have no family? In I have Nigeria. family there. Yeah. I have family there, but then here I have built connections. Okay. I've built friendships and things that could help me in the future. And I'm working with the baddest and the best director in Ghana, Shelly Fimpong Mansu. So my starting point right now is great. Right. So I feel like from here, it will help create a good transition to Nollywood right. when I'm, where when God grants me the, the opportunity to get there. Right. Yeah. As a um, content creator and an actor, having to be behind and in front of the camera, which would you say is your favorite place to be? As a content creator, mm -hmm. I'm both <laughs> right. behind mm -hmm. yeah. and in front. Mm -hmm. That is exciting, mm -hmm. very exciting to be able to, I feel like I enjoy making my content myself. Right. As an actor, I'm always in front of the camera. Mm -hmm. If I were to say which one I prefer, I mean, being an actor, the only place I belong mm -hmm. <laughs> is in front right. of the camera, but then being a, content creator i enjoy doing both so i can't leave my content in the hand of someone to do for me while i just act yeah right. i have to be part of the process okay 
but what's your favorite place to be? In front or behind? In front. In front of the camera. I want to be the star man. <laughs> you have poets, right? Or you used to? Yeah, I mean, once a, once a poet, always a poet, I right. guess. But then, yeah, I used to perform spoken word poetry, but it's been a while since I did that. Right. Why has it been a minute? I just feel like I want to focus on being an actor and maybe even right now, content creation has become a huge part of my life. So okay. I want to focus more on those things than uh, spoken word poetry. And what were you seeking to gain, you know, putting together those like pieces or those words together? To... My spoken word was mainly, okay, I used to talk about faith uh, and society. Yeah. And I was basically encouraging people. Okay. Yeah. I mean, encouraging people to have faith, encouraging people to believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. And talking about, you know, what I believe in as a Christian through my art. Right. So, if you listen to me, one way or the other, you should leave feeling inspired. Okay. Or at least feel like you tried to inspire me. Right, <laughs> right. Would you say that that was like one way of you sharing your positivity? Yes, yes, of course. Like positivity should be shared. Positive vibes only. Right. Like ah, positive vibes. <laughs> so that's what I like. That's what I like to see, and that's what I like to give. Right. What would you say was has been your saddest moment in life, or like breaking moment in life? I don't think there has been a breaking moment. Mm -hmm. but I'm sure there has been sad moments. Mm -hmm. I mean, a sad any. If I ever see my mom cry, it's a very sad thing to me because she's my my mom is my everything. Right. So any if she ever cries, it's pretty sad. But I mean, like me, she picks herself back up and keeps on moving. Right. But then to have like a sad moment that broke me down, put me to my shell, didn't want to go out, nah. I don't do that. Right. <laughs> There's no time for that. There really isn't. But you shared um, a testimony I put on, like, I think on Twitter. That's where I found it. Mm -hmm. That I felt really moved me in the beginning of the year. In the beginning of the year, I was pretty much a mess. <laughs> and, like, any word of motivation out there or, like, someone's journey it was really, like, you know, just mm -hmm. listening to someone, like, grow out mm -hmm. of a certain thing was, like, inspiring enough for me. Would you mind like sharing what that was? I mean, I, I think I already I already started. I mean, after school, mm -hmm. after school, I didn't I didn't do my national service immediately. I was home for like two years, and within the, that two years, it was tough because I was trying to. I mean, you say you want to be an actor, but then nothing is coming, mm -hmm. and then you have your mom there. You know coming to talk to you about your future I imagine mm -hmm. when you have nothing doing and someone is talking to you about your future it's very annoying and it's like I already know I already thinking about this 247 mm -hmm. and you're coming to ask me on top yeah. it's stressful and so I did everything I could at that time uh, I, I used to help a friend sell juice boxes when she goes for activations uh, I had a, a event planner friend who used to call me up when she needed waiters. I go and wait during weddings, serve people. Uh, I used to do all of that. And in 20, 2018, 2019, yeah, 2018 November, I got a job as a salesperson, sales boy in a shop. <laughs> salesperson is very bougie. I was a sales boy. Yeah. Incarnation. The labor you had been through. <laughs> <laughs> Kaneshi. Right. Yeah, in the store in Kaneshi. I worked there for like three months. I was like, nah, I can't do this. I can't do this. This is not my vibe. The yeah. working environment was not nice for me. Right. And so from 2018 to 2019, February or January, yes, I stopped in January. And from February, I started making arrangements to do my national service. Right. From 2019 to going to 2020, I was still not seeing any improvement in my acting life. Mm -hmm. 
So in my mind, I was like, all right, so I have to work hard in this company so that they can retain me. I was slowly giving up on the dream of being an actor. And then COVID hit. And they told all national service personnel to go home. No. Yes. Focus on your life. <laughs> so I was like, well, that ends it for trying to prove myself in this company. Yeah. And in 2020, I would say that has been my best year for producing content. I produced a lot of content back to back in 2020. And I think that was one of the things that actually helped me because I was producing content mainly because I needed to increase my visibility online. Right. As like Why do you think that was important for you? I needed to be seen because I I called myself, I say I'm an actor. Mm-hmm. And somebody asks you, What have you done? And I haven't done any major thing, yeah. but I can create something for, to be seen. Right, so you don't have to wait for the opportunity to come to you. Yes. You create it in your own. So, so I was creating content, entertaining, engaging content. I just, I was not trying to be funny. Right. I just wanted like the content to be entertaining. Because I think there's a difference between entertaining and being funny. Yeah. And you can watch something that is entertaining. If somebody tries to be funny and it's not, then the whole content is whack. Right. But then, if you're not trying to be funny and you end up being funny, that's a plus for you. Yeah. So I was just doing entertaining content. I was doing content that would, I was giving advice. I was doing mm-hmm. all of that, putting mm-hmm. myself out there. Mm-hmm. And so when I got this uh, Met Cafe gig, mm-hmm. one of the producers was um, Spiral Productions. That is Shelly from Paul Yeah. And Ken Atto was on the set. Mm-hmm. And it was, everybody on the set liked me. You know, I was giving them that vibes. <laughs> and Ken was like, ah, what do you do? So I go, one more content for the time and after. I was like, hey, show me your stuff. If I had no stuff, yeah. I would just be like, mm-hmm. oh, you know. Yeah. Haven't done much. <laughs> Haven't had much opportunity. Exactly. Yeah. I had no excuse. I had yeah. evidence of yeah. my stuff. Yeah. And so I forward this year. When preparation meets, um, what, what did I say? When preparation meets opportunity. Because when Sackley's happened. Yeah, mm-hmm. so he took that, he sent it to Shelly. I mean, he showed her. Mm-hmm. And then on the last day of the next couple of issues, he took me by my hand and introduced me to her. Nice. And you know, that's how she, she later contacted me to come and audition for Diddy. Right. And then I did, and I got it, and that's how I got Diddy. Right. So if if I didn't get this the Nescafe project, mm-hmm. if I didn't give my best, yeah. if I didn't have any content to show, mm-hmm. I wouldn't be doing Diddy right now. Yeah. That is some serious inspiration. Everything is just honest. connect. Yeah. Like, it all yourself. connect. And that is the only time I ever felt like my content was useful because I used to think to myself, I'd be like, everything I've put out on the internet mm-hmm. has not brought me anything. Mm-hmm. Like, nobody has been like, oh, I saw you, I saw this content you on the internet mm-hmm. and I want you to do this for me right. at that time. Mm-hmm. But then now I have more visibility, I have more reach. Yeah. And then people have seen my work and be like, okay, can you do this for me? Yeah. But at that time, yeah. uh, every time I was going to post the content, I was discouraged. <laughs> every time yeah. when I post, after I post mm-hmm. and I look at the views, I'm like, nah, <laughs> this is not working for me. Yeah. And somebody told me that he knows that this is something I love to do. Mm-hmm. He said, do you know why? He said, because he also sees my views, my yes. comments, and they are not encouraging at all. But then I come and post again. I was like, hmm. when the dream is bigger than you, I was like, hmm, that's that's true, mm-hmm. that's true. So it you definitely want to give up. Mm-hmm. So as a creative, like I said, you definitely want to give up. You, but like you said, if the dream is bigger than you, you wouldn't, yeah. you wouldn't. 
how would you say has been working with Shirley? It's been amazing. Last year, I wish Shirley happy birthday mm -hmm. when I was home. Because I want I wanted her to I wanted to catch her attention. Yeah. I wish but this year I wish her happy birthday on set. Perfect. <laughs> nice. So like it's been great because Oh, so you've been an, an admirer of her work for a very long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever since Adam Sapo. Okay. Adam Sapo was way, way back. Okay. Did you time. get the chance to express that to her? Yes, on her birthday. Okay. I said I mean we had the chance. Everybody was like giving the chance to say one or two things. Yeah. So I did what role did you play in Diddy? And is Diddy your very first movie or series you've been in? It is my very first series. Okay. I've done small things elsewhere, but I don't like to count them. Right. Diddy <laughs> has been my like my major. Mm -hmm. Has been. I've had the most screen time on Diddy than any other thing I've ever done, mm -hmm. and I feel like this that is very important to me. Mm -hmm. I play Godfrey. Uh, in fact, the, the series is so complicated that I can't tell you that Godfrey is this, that, 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 that. Mm. But then Godfrey is a brother, he's a boyfriend, mm -hmm. <laughs> he's a musician, mm -hmm. aspiring musician. Right. And, and he just found himself into many troubles. Right. He and his sister. Right. Like they just he did not call for himself. Yes. Right. And some that he did call for himself. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, that's 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 got to yeah. yeah. So who would you say are your role models and which people do you look forward to working with? Uh I don't know if I have role models, but I like I like Will Smith a lot. Okay. Yes. Uh, I like Denzel. I like the new Nollywood guys. Okay, like, like Timini, like right. they and me are Colombo. Right. Uh, uh, oh, Charlie, their names have, have escaped me. But are there any Ghanaian actors on those list? I okay, like, he's a Nollywood guy, yeah. but are there any Ghanaian actors? Maji, but right now, I don't think, I don't know if he acts, but he used to be like one of the guys I liked a lot, and Ajit and I. Okay. And I had the opportunity to act with him on the day. Right. So, yeah. I've met celebrities. I've met a lot of people. Oh, you have? <laughs> yeah, like, that's why, if, like, I will count myself very successful if I'm able to act in Nollywood. Okay. Because I really, really like Nollywood. Right. And I want to do that even before I go to Hollywood. Okay. And even if I go to Hollywood first, mm -hmm. I will still come back to Nollywood to act there. Okay. What's the specific reason? His home. Okay. His home. I thought Ghana was home. I, Ghana is home, but I mean, they are not producing. You know, they are not. <laughs> You're working with Shirley for crying out loud. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, you, you, you can't leave the whole of. You can't leave Shirley to carry the whole of yeah. Ghana the uh, movie industry. More needs to come. And I know that there are very talented actors in Ghana. There are so many. Yeah. And I'm sure they are also budding. Uh, movie makers, script writers, storytellers, mm -hmm. and the future, hopefully, is very bright. Right. But right now, it's brighter in but Hollywood. Do you feel, do, yeah. <laughs> do you feel like um, in Ghana, there's the right environment for these people to develop? Not yet. Right. But I'm sure it will come. Okay. And I mean, if, if, you, if you fight for it hard enough, you 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 I mean you get it and you may be the one to create the environment for other people. Right. So what would you say to like someone who used to be where you are, creating contents, like putting himself out there, himself or herself out there and hasn't gained the recognition or any like gig they can say, Oh, like yeah. Don't I can see everything come together. Well it's simple, don't stop. Right. Try and make the right connections. Okay. And make sure you are putting out your best. Okay. Some people may say your best is not enough, but then if it's your best, you know you tried, and then you will improve okay. as you keep putting me. I don't. I know, I, I'm not where I used to be, mm -hmm. but I'm not where I want to be. Right. And so, this is just the beginning of my journey. And so, know your journey. 
-hmm. Focus on your journey. Keep on creating. Increase your visibility. Let people see you. And I mean, hopefully, one day you get there. Because that's what I'm hoping for myself. Mm. I'm hoping that in the next few years, I can be somebody's role model. Or, I mean, I will listen to this tape and be like, yeah, I was talking to myself as well. Right. Right. So, what's next for you? I'm still, I'm still acting, you know. Uh, Diddy is a long show, so yeah. I'm there. You didn't have that for a while. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I'm just hoping maybe next year, even see any any opportunity I get to go to Nollywood. Mm -hmm. I think that's, that's where my head is at right now. Okay. Looking for the right opportunities to find myself in Nollywood. Okay. And not just Nollywood, there are so many movies being produced. I don't want just anyone. See the ones coming on Netflix. That's what I want. Okay. That's what I want. Okay. <laughs> I do you have any particular producers or directors in mind? Ramsey Noah. Okay. Ramsey Noah does a lot of fine films. Mm. Um, uh, Kemi. Kemi. Hey, I don't know how to pronounce the name, but the one, the lady who directed King of Boys. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. I want to work with her. Obviously, you're a very talented individual, and it doesn't look like you're giving up anytime soon. So we're looking forward to seeing see more amazing stuff from you thank you so much for coming to the show thank you very much to appreciate you we have something from our sponsors something little to uh, say thank you thank you very much <laughs> should i open it yeah sure <laughs> what is this akoshi akoshi, akoshi. Yeah. what does it mean akoshi means coconut in one of the Ghanaian local dialects so they make like um they recycle or i the think the appropriate term is upcycle yeah it's, that's how it's supposed okay. to be more like a calabash but with a stand okay yeah and it has to take it to the max and engraved on it somewhere. Oh. To be a constant reminder to continually take what you do to the max. I'll be putting juice. <laughs> juice. I thought you were saying so below asana. Or you don't know those local. Oh, I do, I do. Yeah. So you should be putting those in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I have the feeling. <laughs> Thank you very Toe, much. Palm wine, all of that. All of that goodness in it. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Hi guys, my name is Chidera David. I'm an actor, content creator, and an all-around creative. I want you to keep on watching, take it to the max, like, share, subscribe, comment, let us know how the show is making you feel. I mean, enjoy the show and tell your friends about it. When something is good, you share it with your friends. And this show is so good.